Edition Remix on my Mi 5 for the past month. Yeah, but the day before yesterday, I met a girl, and that girl was using a Redmi Note 3. And I have to make you guys see what a Redmi Note 3 looks like. So, yeah, here is a picture. So, this is how a Redmi Note 3 actually looks like. I think that's a pretty decent cover. It looks actually very cute and it's actually pretty unique that I have never seen a cover like this before guys. So coming to the point, I saw her using Mi UI 8 and that made me remember that Xiaomi had already rolled out the Mi UI 8 Android 7.0 update for the Mi 5. So yeah, why not check it out? And yeah, when I checked it out on my Mi 5, I found it to be pretty interesting. And you don't want to miss this video guys so yeah not wasting time today less you guys have been complaining that i have been speaking too much in my videos so keeping it short it's damn hot here this is your Aditya here from freaks and geeks and let's look at how to install mi ui 8 based on android 7.0 nougat on your Xiaomi mi 5 let's get started if you are running mi ui and this is the fourth time i'm shooting this video you need not worry because you can easy install this very easily on your device just go to settings and from there just go to about phone system updates and go to the three dots over here and go to choose update package and from there choose wherever you have stored the ROM the link for which will be given in the description box below and from there you can update it but for the people who are using AOSP based ROMs like out of lineage OS 14.1 resolution remix xenon HD and stuff for them, that normal TWRP recovery that you have installed on your device is not gonna work. You need to flash the ZCX recovery, that is the Chinese version of TWRP recovery and for that, you need to download this app, Flashify from the Play Store. Link for that will be given in the description box below. So just click it and from there choose wherever you have stored the ZCX Chinese recovery image file. So just go to recovery image, choose a file. As you can see, TWRP Mi 5 Gemini 7.0 DEC image select it and the go for the normal way if it asks so normal way and just click yes so I'm not gonna do that because I have already flashed it so after you're done with the entire thing so just as you know what you need to do you need to switch off your device so let's just switch it off and from there you need to boot into ZCX recovery you need to press the volume up button and the power button together so as you can see we are booting into recovery project what the hell so as you can see we are into Chinese TWRP recovery from there the process goes as expected as goes in every ROM video go to wipe this is gonna be wipe go to advanced wipe Dalvik system data and cache do not wipe the Chinese thing it's the internal storage then just swipe to wipe so after you're done with that go back and hit install and from install select wherever you have stored your downloaded ROM so for me it's in download and from there as you can see Mi UI Mi 5 select it and swipe to confirm flash no need to flash gapps guys because gapps is already installed because this is the official ROM from Mi UI forums so after you're done with that hit reboot and hit system that long trial of how to do it and how to install it we have finally booted into the Mi UI 8.2 based on Android 7.0 Nougat only for the Mi 5 so let's check out what it offers so clicking the power button we have the default lock screen so there has been no customizations in the lock screen till now but the good thing is that you can swipe notifications from here you can see guys I like could manage somehow a notification on my lock screen and from here like you can like swipe it away or you can like keep it so this is a feature that should be, should have been added in Mi UI like based on Android Marshmallow or Lollipop already but no they decided to add it in Nougat so yeah that's pretty decent as you can see I am actually swiping it away so you can like swipe it away for clearing the notifications so unlocking it so as you know we will be needing the password for the first time I unlock it this is the default lock screen I have customized it and this is the home screen that you get so a lot of stuff and I have like arranged the icons some way yeah so let's check out what this actually offers so quickly pulling down notification shade so as you can see nothing has changed so this is what disappoints me the most because the nougat animation that we used to get like the swiping down the thing and that thing is actually not present here guys so i don't know it, it looks exactly like me ui what it was on android 6.0.1 marshmallow so you will not be feeling that you are using android nougat if you are okay. using this wrong so let's check out what all options do we have let's go to display first we have brightness level color contrast double tap the screen to wake up no new options are there okay let's let's move to wallpaper from here we can change the wallpaper like lock screen and yeah 
that can be done let's go to themes so yeah theme option is also there as you know that it was already there in android 5.1 lollipop and marshmallow okay we have audio settings um nothing much has been given equalizer me sound enhancer that's it okay let's move to lock screen and password okay so we have fingerprint so we have a new gesture that has been given launch camera place the volume down twice to launch the camera we have advanced settings as well let's see what advanced settings does it offer on the lock screen as you can see show all notification content we have been given the access to control what kind of notifications will be shown on our lock screen we have the lock screen info unlock with bluetooth device smart cover mode pocket mode and stuff i don't know if they are already present in android 6.0.1 because i was using it a long time ago but i found this to be new so i am telling you guys so let's just quickly move back and let's see notification and status bar okay so we have a new option which is what we call home screen so here a few options have been given which may be useful or may not be useful i don't know so we can select the default launcher from here as you can see pixel launcher and i have the system launcher as well so i'm currently using a system launcher fill empty cells i'll be showing you that as well and lock home screen layout so let's just quickly switch that on it might sometimes happen that you give your phone to your friend and they just rearrange the icon everywhere and just scatter it out on your home screen and your hard work goes into the dustbin because yeah arranging the icons in miui is like a really tough job because i do it once in a while so i know how tough it is so once you have turned that lock home screen option on so you cannot just move as you can see home screen layout is locked you cannot move any app from the space that they are currently assigned in so thank you Xiaomi for including that because i think that's a very very helpful option guys because yeah to be like as you can see home screen layout is locked why i launched ola so yeah that's a pretty neat option and so we just let's just quickly go back to settings okay so as you can see fill empty cells so that is another option let's just quickly switch that off so if we switch that off so what will happen is that if it's office and suppose i want to uninstall it so as you can see i just uninstall that so what it will happen that this space will not be filled by this icon if you have enabled that option in the settings option as you can see i have filled empty spaces it switched off so that empty space is not filled by swift key but if that is switched on just quickly so go to settings and if i switch that on so now if i select swift key and if i uninstall it so as you can see the empty space will be immediately filled up by filmora go so yeah i think that's a pretty neat option that they have provided a very small addition i would say but yeah at least they have added something let's just quickly move to do not disturb and as you can see repeated calls yeah there are there are a few options that have been added exceptions you can like add exceptions for do not disturb mode we have like sounds and repeated calls ring when and receiving a second call from the same number within 3 minutes that's dope a few options that have been added from stock android battery let's go to battery as you can see we have manage battery use okay that's all let's go to additional settings date and time language and input uh, quick ball screenshot let's see what we have okay so we have the gesture support let's just see. uh yeah let's go to accessibility and okay we have the magnification gesture has been added click after the cursor stops moving so these are a few I think there are a few options that have been added which you will never ever find in your device if you are really really not looking into your if you are not really digging into your device you will not find these options so as you can see I am like seeing every bit of option that have been provided plus so let's see what else do we have the security app this is a default system app so let's see okay it looks all the way the same second space dual apps deep clean okay so we have a new option called automated tasks so let's see so here you can select like different tasks that will happen on in your phone from a specific time that you specify for that yeah i am really disappointed with xiaomi because they didn't really provide any android nougat features on the mi ui 8 which is based on android nougat so back in the settings and let's look at about phones as you can see android 7.0 nougat mi ui 8.2 stable that is the india version so let's quickly hit on that so as you can see we have android nougat and let's quickly see do we have the easter egg or not what the hell complete action so let's check on this it shows you the kitten icon outstanding 
let's quickly do one more thing and let's click on this oh my god are you seeing this guys i think xiaomi have really messed things up because we are given the android marshmallow flappy game are you kidding me right now no no, no that's not possible we are using android 7.0 nougat and they are giving us the android flappy bird game okay so i'm really bad at this thing so let's just get one mark so the device has become faster compared to android marshmallow definitely because the speed comes with as updates go on right so that's the basic thing about updates so yeah the device is performing pretty well than it used to perform on mi ui 8 based on marshmallow so if you guys can want you can just go ahead and right away install it so again see you in my so what do you think do you think that xiaomi should have added more android 7.0 nougat features on this update of mi ui 8.2 because yeah this mi ui 8.2 doesn't even look like it's running on android nougat as far as i have checked out because we have a marshmallow flappy game in a nougat easter egg second we don't even have the scroll down the notification shade animation in miui 8.2 and yeah i don't even think that they're gonna add the 3d touch when they're gonna roll out the android 7.1.1 update for the mi 5 on a miui 8 of course so yeah i hope that this video was helpful to you if this was do give this video a huge thumbs up subscribe to my channel for more such content on the mi 5 the redmi note 3 the yu euphoria and more such apps and mods and tweaks and stuff that's gonna come in the near future stay tuned because my next video is also gonna come out very soon until you see my next video stay a freak and stay a geek until next time peace